Hey Outlaw Survivors, how are we doing? We're back playing some more Westland Survival. How are we doing guys? So for today what I want to do is I want to get over to the north. I want to get some basalt and I want to get some iron. They're the two things I want to get today. But also I wanted to try out the uh, linen fur winter armor. Well, the armor kit basically. So of the warmer variety. So this is a little bit different to the standard one that we've all been accustomed to. So basically this is your basic fur kit, but then the linen version offers a little bit more in terms of um, durability defense and slightly quicker in terms of uh, speed movement as well. So whether that's gonna actually contribute to anything, I'm not too sure, but at least, um, you know, I want to sort of try it out, show you guys as well, and at least, you know, we get off to a little adventure today. And just want to sort of dump a few things back into the uh, safe that I have here, which I'm clearly running out of space. So let's see if we can drop everything off, which we did. Awesome. So got some food, got some heals, and got some weapons, so we're good to go. Anyway, let's get to it. And shout out to you guys from the previous video as well when I raided the Southern AI base. Yes, you do need a few dynamite to break down some of those level four walls that I've realized what they were. So um, I haven't gone through the whole base yet, but what I'm thinking as a minor introduction, what we saw last video, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna keep going with the base off camera. And once I've opened up all areas where I've got all the rest of the, um, uh, all the chests, I'm going to essentially do another video just by looting the chest only. So I think that might be a good little, um, a good little video to do as opposed to just sort of, you know, breaking down those walls and then finding what I can get, um, and sort of wasting maybe another video trying to not, well, may not get everything, I guess. So. I'm going to sort of go through it, use up all the dynamite I, I need to and what, what's required there and then basically um, just show you all the, you know, um, the, the looting spoils as they say. So stay tuned for that one. I'm going to work onto it, you know, from time to time and then hopefully, yeah. The problem is it's going to be manufacturing dynamite which is going to be the hardest thing because there's no... Um, uh, you know, a workstation storage unit that you can, that auto stores in with the new update. So that's really unfortunate, but otherwise from time to time, you just sort of got to keep onto it, I guess. And that's what I found. Um, so otherwise I haven't really gone through upgrading all of my workstations or sorry, my storage units yet. So I don't know whether or not if you upgrade it to a certain amount or a certain level that it'll auto fill it. I don't know, but I'm just sort of thinking out loud here and just sort of you know, rambling on, as I tend to do, as you guys very well know. But, let's get into it. Uh, let's one-shot that goon, without a problem. And yeah, so, for, for those that haven't really gone into the zone yet, if they haven't unlocked this, uh, the north here, and gotten into the winter zones, basically, these harder zones are just that. They are a lot more harder to so, sort of survive in. You will find that you do get um, quite a number of NPCs running into the zone from time to time. So something that to be mindful and be careful of. And yeah, so, but to survive and to loot the area, it will give you um, some pretty decent loot that is um, vital and necessary uh, for your progression in the game. So, so yeah, so uh, basically entering at own risk for now, I guess. Especially if you guys haven't got accessibility to the warmer clothing. If you guys carried yourselves over from the previous update over to the current update that we have. Um, just use your warm clothes wisely. Oh, let's get rid of this uh, Descanova. Take you out before you take me out. That is not ash, that's just maple. And as you can see, here come the NPCs guys. So for me, I will actually try and just loot up everything that I can here today. Um, just purely because I am low on certain resources, especially with food as well. So I'm just gonna take what I can get. 
but more importantly the iron is the biggest thing that I do need and take out that bear and for me I want to get a lot more berries as well uh, just so I can make the, the steak as well so berries and the tender meat that I just picked up from that bear um, does pretty decent healing um, capability so I do want to maximize that and if I can get enough um, yeah happy days but so far, how have you guys been traveling along with this new update? Um, have you gotten used to it? Um, are you enjoying it? Are you not enjoying it? Are you finding it a little bit more difficult than what it has been in the past? Um, you know, let me know in the comments. I um, want to hear your thoughts about it. But to me, I'm actually enjoying the new update. I, I really am. And it's just given more of a challenge element to this compared to how the game was um, previously. And for me, I feel like this game was always too easy, and look, it still is to a point. They have uh, made it a little bit harder for certain things, which is good. So I'm really enjoying that, and I'm hoping that the game does get more difficult as time moves on. So hopefully, um, you know, that becomes a thing, and you know, we'll have a game that's a little bit more on the challenging side. Let's just sneak over to this guy here first. And we Unfortunately, it's a three hit, but what do you do? Take that. Not really interested at all in the um, in the bear claws. I haven't found a need for it or a use for it, so yeah, there's that. But let's just eat up on that. And what I've sort of started focusing on as well is with the food properties now, I'm trying to find more um, heals that will do both, so food, healing over time obviously and your uh, your thirst compatibility not all of them is going to be completely balanced I do get that and that's why I always have um, a jar of water or a stack of water for, uh, with me at all times and um, and certain food properties so I don't know how you guys have been setting yourselves up let me know in the comments um, it has sort of thrown it way out of whack as well compared to how we sort of had it in the past and to how we sort of got it now. What have you dropped for me today? Take that, take that. May as well take that with me. And you know what? I'm pretty happy to leave all that behind. Yeah, so a lot of people have sort of made the, well, not a complaint, but they're more, for them it's more difficult now to take and sort of restructure the way that they're using the heals now because there's a lot of different ways of healing not just by food but also by uh, ointments and um, well, I wouldn't say they're healing potions or anything like that but like her herbal things uh, herbling items I guess that um, basically heal you a lot more but don't offer any sort of food uh, properties on it so there's that as well you know and you just sort of got to know when to use them and what type of zone that you want to use them so I guess that's probably another thing to sort of look at as well. But anyway, um, I think we're doing pretty well here. How are we doing uh, clothing wise? Barely scratched the surface. You can see that there's been a little bit of um, uh, damage being brought to my clothing. But then again, I've got a very strong weapon in the bayonet here. So it hasn't been too bad, I guess. But if you guys were to use a lesser weapon of, you know, of any choice there, then you might find that you'll have a little bit more of a harder time to clear the zone and obviously durability becomes a, um, a factor once more. So, so far so good. And I'm actually happy this way so far, so even though that I'm sort of getting pretty much attacked here, I may as well just use those two up. Oh, okay, I thought that was a player, but there he is. Take you out. That was <laughs> that was actually a rabbit, and then an NPC decided to come out of nowhere, as you do. Take those with me. So I'm going to use those for for corn porridge as well. May as well eat up these. Drink up on that. And every time I hear those footsteps running, I'm thinking it's a um, an NPC. That's really really unsettling and there you go as soon as I said that and take you Oop, didn't 
quite want to take all of that, but let's just put that back there. And let's see. Anything else, anyone else that want to take me on? While I'm here, I may as well grab that. And if you're lucky, you may get a full staff every time you enter this zone of iron. So right now we're sitting on 12. There should be another um, node or deposit, whatever you want to call them. And here are a bunch of enemies. So may as well just take them. Oop, oop, what am I doing? I want to take all. Anyway. And let's just one shot this guy. Take that. Take that. And let's see if we can just sneak our way around. Take out the die wolf. And take you out too. And this should take us up to what, 15 now? look here yeah, so 15 so far and what you'll find as well a lot of people have been asking where else do you find um, iron you got to go into the other red zones and some of these red zones have uh, the acres and they will always drop um, at least one uh, bit of iron and if you farm that zone there eventually it might start to sort of add up that you'll get um, a nice little decent amount of iron without having to go into a, a northern zone. So I guess that's another thing to sort of you know, sort of look at if you guys are sort of you know needing to find a little bit more iron. If you guys haven't quite found everything, uh, that that'll be the next option I would look at if I were you. And there we go. Check you out. Open up this. There's another iron node. And this should give us oh, some fish, so let's take that. Let's hit up those. And just once I've broken this, we'll see how we're doing with the um, the old pickaxes as well. Because I'm nearly out. There we go. Right, I think I've looted that. I've looted that. So far, so good. So we will run back to the horsey over here and I'll drop you off um, for now I might leave you there this I don't see that I'll be getting that either who is that let's just take you out and let's just take all of that and what else do I want to drop off here um, honestly I'll probably just leave that there all right so let's just go into auto here and just take out whatever we need. So a lot of other people as well are waiting on things like ash plank, uh, granite as well. I know that you know you guys are keen on getting those items as well, the materials, but unfortunately they're not in game just yet. So I'm not too sure when or how long it's going to take for the developers to add them into the game. To be honest, I reckon they're already in the game or they're ready to go, their files are there but we just don't have accessibility to them just yet. So not too sure what they're doing, what they're planning on um, uh, doing with those materials, if it's gonna be for a whole other um, uh, part of the map or the overworld, I should say. That might be where we will find those materials. So, and then we can finally upgrade our workstation so we can get steel items, um, you know, like steel pickaxes, uh, steel materials as well that are currently holding us back right now for, on the workstation point of view I've pretty much upgraded everything that I needed to um, with the exception of um, you know uh, the stone materials so all those other materials so you got your uh, your linen um, what do we say your uh, granite um, what else was there uh, there's another type of leather that we haven't found or that we haven't got yet So that's something else that we sort of um, don't have at the moment and Yeah, so basically they're, they're some of the things that we're sort of missing out on and obviously the ash plank and there's another um, There's another uh, type of timber as well. I think it's called bu uh, buck or butch Whatever you want to sort of pronounce it 
that's another level of um, timber that we that we can't get our hands on yet. So you've got ash plank and you've got the, the birch plank um, uh, material. Uh, sorry, wood as well. So don't know what that's going to serve, or what type of um, uh, you know items that are going to require those type of materials when that happens. So who knows? But just sort of point that out anyway as I was sort of going along. Um, but yeah, so th they're some of the pain stakes that we haven't actually been able to get yet because of that. So, as we said, there's your, there's your maple, there's the ash that we can't, the larch, sorry, larch plank, or larch wood. My bad, sorry, I don't know why I was saying, saying something completely different. Anyway, there we go, just as well. So yeah, so there's some of the things, you've got the granite block, as we said before, that we don't have access to because there's no granite. Um, and then the thick leather. So unfortunately they haven't fixed that up yet. But this type of um, you know hide that makes the thick leather we haven't got access to yet, so which is a pain. And then you've got the linen cloth and then the fabric roll. So basically the linen is what we're gonna be needing to get uh, later on. So there's some of the materials that we cannot get our hands on. And for some of us that have had uh, steel in the past that actually carried over, which is a good thing, then we would be able to craft some of these things, potentially, but again, we do need those bench tops. So we will be, you know, ahead of the, the curve, I guess, once we get that accessibility to, um, to make steel items, but we need the workstations as well, and that's where it's gonna, you know, hurt a lot of us. But for now, we can only do what we can only do, and unfortunately we can't, you know, um, craft any of these because they need all the new material which is a pain so aside from that um, this is easy to make finally which is a good thing and these guys are not going to stop and what I'm going to do I'm just going to munch on all of this this should get me near to full health if not full health pretty much there pretty much there so there's nothing else for me to get. If I were to go into my inventory, I should find a iron pickaxe. Should have one here. Let's have a quick look. Uh, iron pickaxe. Pickaxe, pickaxe. I know I do. So there you go. So I've, I've even got some of the items here as well. And these carried over with with the update when it got changed over so very fortunate to keep some of those um, I'm, not, I'm not too sure how lucky you guys got um, that when the beta did come out from the closed beta to um, for everyone else to access not too sure how that sort of went down but hopefully you guys got the same type of um, uh, material return or changeover with the material update so hopefully you guys got lucky with that but if not it sucks, I get it, so hopefully that might change once the developers decide to, you know, um, uh, push on with the additional update, so, you know, but I'm thinking, well, from what my understanding is, I think it's going to be a reintroduction for the Bandit system with the next update. Now, I don't know when the new update's coming across, that I can't tell you, unfortunately, but that will be my understanding from it, so the reintroduction into Bandit, so... Probably my suggestion would be as well is just to make sure that you guys have your um, bases upgraded. I haven't yet, so I've been pretty lazy with that, so I'm going to have to do that soon. Uh, just so we don't get raided and lose you know, materials and goods and things like that. Still contemplating, do I keep the base layout as it is as well? I'm not too sure if I want to do that. If I want to leave it as it is or if I'm going to mix it up or change it. That I haven't really sort of thought of or you know, begin to sort out. I mean... I don't know, I've done it once now, so I don't know if I want to do it again, but the materials that I've used, it's not a great loss. I haven't gone into stone or anything like that, invest that amount, so we'll see. Anyway, pretty much cleared the zone here, guys, so we're good to go. Um, so we'll probably leave it here for today anyway. Appreciate you guys sort of stopping by and taking a look at the video. Um, go ahead and hit the like button, notification bell, all that sort of good stuff. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and comment down below. Alright, anyway guys, take it easy, catch you next time.